In bi-injection molding, two materials are injected into the mold at separate injection locations, which are controlled independently by two different injection units. Typically, the two materials are actually the same material, but with different colorants, to produce decorative parts that have a soft boundary between the two different colors. The simulation is set up similarly to other molding processes. Select the bi-injection molding process. Select the analysis sequence you want to perform. Then check the process settings. The first material is set up here, followed by the second material. This is where you choose whether to inject the two materials simultaneously or to delay the second material for a period of time. You can check the filling pattern and see the flow behavior from the different melt entrances. You can also look at the pressures and the distribution between the first and second shot. Here we see the red areas representing the second shot are only a small portion of the part. We can look at the weight distribution or the volume distribution. From both results, it's clear that there is far more of the first material than of the second. Assuming that we want a more even distribution of the two materials, we can adjust the parameters and see the effect on the molded part. Here we have decreased the delay timer. It's had little effect on the fill pattern. But the distribution of the first and second shot is much larger for the second shot. The weights are more similar, and so are the volumes. By running a series of bi-injection molding simulations, you can adjust the processing conditions to get the filling pattern and pressures that you need to make great products.